Hello, hello, hello. Kenny Evans here. <laughs> a car video. So, yes, yeah, it's a little dark. Uh, doing things a little different. You know, things getting a little dark a little sooner nowadays. So, it is what it is. But, the topic of this video is how to check women properly. And, obviously, this is very important when dealing with women. Not only in your dating life, but in life in general. Because, and really it has to deal with everybody. How you check men and women. But obviously we're talking about women because we're talking about dating women. But, um, how you check people and the women you date, more specifically, is very important. Because that will set the tone for the rest of your inter interaction or your relationship with that person. For the rest of the interaction. <laughs> you know. Whether it's a good one or a bad one. So it's always important to keep that in mind. And um, do it in the most effective way possible. And it is very simple. But of course. Um, when it comes to. Um, guys who want to be the nice guy. Or who don't want to offend somebody. It can be difficult. Um, but we always got to keep in mind. Our happiness has to come first. Our comfort has to come first. Because if we are not comfortable or happy, the other person uh, won't be either. You know, because whether you have uh, grudges or you get angry and you hold that up, eventually it's going to come out. And or that if, if nothing else, they just won't respect you. And then the relationship won't be won't be good. You know, so. Um, it's very important to uh, keep that in mind that learning how to check people is very important. And specifically with women, learning how to check women is very important because you have to teach women how to treat you. So, ah, now that I got all that stuff out the way, here we go. So first things first, whenever they do, whenever a woman does something that you don't like, you have to to check her then or correct her then let her know that hey you know i know we we just you know starting to get to know each other or talk with each other whatever it may be say i don't really appreciate you know you doing that or i don't really deal with women who do that kind of stuff you know what i mean so i'm just letting you know giving you a warning now um but just don't let it happen again I mean, very simple. It doesn't have to be too much. You don't have to yell at her or curse her out or call her names. Just let her know. You just don't like when women do do that stuff or people do that stuff or you don't deal with women who do that stuff. And keep it simple. And then just move forward. You know? Um, but of course, uh, if and when she does it again, you say, hey, you did this thing after I told you I don't really like when women do that or I don't deal with women who do that. And because of that, we got to go. We got to go our separate ways. I can't, I'm not going to be able to deal with you anymore or we're not going to be able to hang out or we're going to break up or whatever relationship or situation you had, you end it, you separate and you have to be strict on that because she clearly shows she doesn't respect you. You don't ever have to tell her, hey, if you do that again, I'm going to break it with you. You don't have to tell her that. You know what I mean? But out of respect for you, she has to abide by whatever you said you don't like. Because if she doesn't respect you, she's not going to be able to um, really love you or care about you. And that you set that boundary after you checked her that one time and she crossed the boundary. After she did it the second time. So um, after you've let her know. That she don't like whatever she's done. That first time. She does it again. You got to let her go. You know. Um, obviously that comes from. Having a standard that you've set in your mind. With what you will. And will not put up with. From women. You know. So once you have that set. When a woman crosses that first time. You give the warning. Or you let them know you don't like it. But whenever they cross it that second time, you got to let them go. And you have to have that standard. Because when you have that standard, 
it gives you more peace of mind. It gives you more confidence. It gives you more of a uh, 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 control and leadership with women that you deal with. And that's very important because if you just put up with anything, she will be happy, but you will be miserable. And eventually she will be miserable too. So you got to have a have you got to have a standard for your life and uh, what you expect uh, with whenever you deal with women. Got my notes here. But of course, having uh, having an abundant mindset is very important. You have to have an abundant mindset. Realizing whenever this woman has uh, crossed that boundary, she's done whatever you didn't like more than once, you're willing to let her go. That is incredibly important. You got to be willing to let them go. You know, and realizing that there are other women out there who will, excuse me, do what you like and who will respect you and just be able to be on your team and support you, you know, and they won't. Uh, go against your wishes, regardless of whatever they feel or regardless of whatever the circumstances are. There are women out there for you. So you should not settle for women who don't respect you and who, who don't want to support what you support. You know, so it's very important. You know, you have to have that abundance mindset and realize you will be able to find other women who are for you. Especially when that woman was not for you, you know, so it's super important. But of course, this is even more important. Well, that's 1A, having an abundance mindset, 1B. You cannot be afraid of being alone. As a man, as a strong, confident man, you cannot be afraid of being alone. Worst case scenario, if you're a guy who's who wants to sleep with multiple women or who wants to um, or is looking for a relationship, but you're dating multiple women, you can't be afraid of being alone. You know, um, if you have all these women who are treating you bad, you cut them off. Or they're disrespecting you, you've let them know what you don't like, they continue to do it, you cut them off realizing hey maybe this time that you have it's time for you to grow help find your what you truly like and find women who 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 respect you but also again growing and working on yourself and becoming a better version of yourself that's what strong confident men do they work on themselves they build themselves up and they find people not just women but people who help build up that within them and help support their lives um, and not financially necessarily, but help them to support uh, being that better version of themselves, you know, and being the best version of themselves and also just make their lives easier, better and more fun. You know, so it's all very simple and easy, but it's, it's just all about being able to control your emotions and how you can control can control your emotions is by getting in your mind you know what you will put up with and what you won't you know so that's all very 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 important you know so um i appreciate this you know y'all being with me you guys gotta learn these things you gotta apply them they will help you have better uh, and more success with relation with women in relations with women, but also better relationships with women and also people in general, you know, so um, these are all very important things um, you should do, um, have a better life and um, be uh, be stronger and more confident, you know, and have a happier life, of course, but um, that is all I have for you guys today. I appreciate y'all joining me here again this week. You know, like, comment, subscribe if you really enjoyed the video. 
Uh, let me know what you guys else, what else you guys want me to talk about. I really want to know. And of course, um, if you found value in this video, donate. I appreciate all donations. But until next week, y'all be safe and stay happy. And remember, the strong man is the happy man. <sighs> so, till next week. Peace.